The Jackass movie beef between Bam Margera and the franchise's executives just hit an extreme left turn after Jackass co-creator Jeff Tremaine filed a restraining order against him in Los Angeles County Court. The last thing I want to do is be in a courtroom with Jeff Tremaine. I love him. Legal documents obtained by the infamous Jackass Updates Clips page state that Tremaine has officially asked a judge to order Bam Margera to stay away, claiming he is the victim of harassment by the controversial star. Knoxville's a poison sucker and Tremaine just got so fat and greedy. The legal filing directly follows Marjorie's multiple Instagram posts filled with curse words and middle fingers thrown at Tremaine and fellow star and producer Johnny Knoxville. Tremaine, f you. Knoxville, extra f you. The issues with Bam's expulsion from Jackass allegedly stem from his drug and alcohol use. Although Bam claims it was a financial play by the executives to free up an extra $5 million for the film's budget. Hey, buddy, Jerry, mother what up? Okay. There's no jackass without you, bro. Although new information is being brought to us as we speak, it's still unclear how bad the harassment in this case is. As we reported, Bam claims the producer partners forced him to sign a contract which included entering a 90-day rehab facility and staying away from alcohol and Adderall. But, Marjorie claims he exited the stay on nearly 20 new prescription medications. Zoloft, Fisterol, Bipropion, Lithium, Constrata, Propanolol, Seroquel, Contra, Trazodone, Vivitrol, Naltrexone, Latuda, Zeprexa, Lexapro, Abilify, Walbutin, Raylar, and Adderall, because I'm ADD, and Klonopin. That in combination gave him suicidal thoughts and numerous other negative side effects. In the video we uploaded of Bam's latest rant. He adds that he was to receive $5 million for the production of Jackass 4, but due to the franchise's failure of Johnny Knoxville's 2018 movie, Action Point, Knoxville owed a lump sum of money to the TV titans over at Paramount Pictures. So well, the kindergarten math is, is that Knoxville had Action Point movie, which a $19 million budget that flopped big time, so he has to pay Paramount back. Marjorie is implying that because Johnny is at the mercy of Paramount, he will do anything, including kick his close friend out of the movie series they created together, in order to pay Paramount what he owes them, aka no Bam, means an extra 5 million for Knoxville and Tremaine. Bam makes 5 million dollars on each movie. If I cancel him out, then that's 5 million more that I don't owe them. Johnny Knoxville has come forward to speak on the matter in a recent GQ profile published on Tuesday the 25th of May. I think each of us is responsible for his own actions. Knoxville said, at the end of the day that person has to want help. Sometimes they don't yet. A visibly emotional, grey and wrinkled version of Johnny we've never seen before, continued. We want Bam to be happy and healthy and get the help he needs. We tried to push that along. I think that's all I really want to say about it. I don't want to get into a public back and forth with Bam. I can't even think straight. It makes me go more bad sh than what Johnny Knoxville and Tremaine made me go through with their stupid f***ing contract. Just the other day, another grey-haired jackass star, Steve-O, broke his silence on the situation, saying Tremaine and Knoxville are actually the two that saved his life from alcohol and drug abuse. Bam. The two people you're saying wronged you, Knoxville and Tremaine, are the same two people who organized the intervention which saved my life, Steve-O wrote. He continued, everyone bent over backward to get you in the movie, and all you had to do was not get loaded. You've continued to get loaded. It's that simple. We all love you every bit as much as we all say we do, but nobody who really loves you can enable or encourage you to stay sick. It seems quite interesting how in our latest Jackass Updates video, Steve specifically said you can't force anyone into rehab, but then in the same clip stated that Knoxville had locked him up in a facility as well years ago. You can't make someone else decide. So I've had people ask me, do you, uh, have you tried to get through to BAM? You know, and the truth is, you can't you force people into it. Some people ask, cause, because Knoxville, you know, organized an intervention and locked me up in a psychiatric ward and I kind of, you know, got enough clarity in there to realize, wow, I need help. And, and I went from the psych ward to rehab and I've been sober ever since. Um, Who knows if Steve-O would still be on good terms with Paramount and Dick House if he didn't submit to Knoxville forcing him to get sober. With this being said, 
Leaving a comment on Bam's post like he did has made it clear that Steve has chosen sides in this epic feud. Hitting Bam with yet another dagger to the heart as more and more of his friends slowly begin to look down on him. At this point, Tremaine is asking a judge to intervene and stop Bam from the constant assault on him. According to court documents, Tremaine filed the restraining order on Tuesday the 25th of May. On the same exact day as Knoxville's GQ article came out, both sides will eventually be ordered to appear in an LA courtroom to argue their positions. Bam has not yet responded to the news of the restraining order or to Johnny Knoxville's GQ profile. As soon as the details are made public, we will update everyone on our YouTube channel.